Hi, boys and girls. So today we are working on module 12, lesson seven, and that starts on page 375. So we are coming up with different strategies to use in order to add larger numbers. And so today's strategy is the make a 10 strategy. And you might remember that back in the beginning of the year when we were working on addition, we used this make a 10 strategy, but it was a little bit hard back then. And I think now that you are getting more fluent with your facts, that it'll be an easier strategy for you to use. So let's give it a try. So our I can statement for today says, I can use a visual model to show how to use the make a 10 strategy to add a two digit number and a one digit number. So let's break down that I can statement for just a second. I can use a visual model. So a visual model would be um, using a number line, using your hundreds grid, using your cubes, using um, our quick pictures. A model is usually a picture. So actually your cubes would be more of a um, phys physical model instead of a visual, but um, just show how to use the make a 10 strategy to add a two digit number. So we are going to be using number lines, but for our spark your learning part of the lesson, Let's go back to yesterday's strategy. Ava has 48 stickers. Logan gives her four stickers. How many stickers does Ava have now? So yesterday we worked a lot on using quick pictures and regrouping to make a 10. So if we want to do a quick picture for Ava's original 48 stickers, you know that that would be four tens because of the four in 40. And then eight ones, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. And then we know that Logan gives her four more stickers. So these are the four stickers that Logan gives her. And we know that we're adding those because Logan is giving them to her. So to figure out how many total stickers Ava has, if we use yesterday's strategy, we know that she already has eight ones. If we add two more ones on, that would make another 10. So that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, stop, 51, 52 total stickers that Ava now has. And if we want to quickly check our thinking, we can take a look and we have one, two, three, four, five tens and two leftover ones to make 52. Let's look at what that would look like using a number line. Build understanding. So we've got a little bit smaller numbers to help us remember what this strategy looks like. Eight puppies are in the park, six puppies join them. How many puppies are in the park now? Um, so let's picture that. We've got eight puppies in the park. Here's our second reading. Picture eight puppies playing in a park. Maybe they're running around the slide and the swings. Six puppies join them. How many puppies are in the park now? How can you use a number line to show how to make a 10? If you start at eight, so these are the eight original puppies, how many would you have to jump in order to get to 10? So I know that eight plus two more would get me to 10. And I'm gonna show you what this will look like on the number line. Here's the 10, and I know that this would be a plus two jump because I know that eight plus two, sorry, that almost looks like a seven, plus two would get me to 10. So how many more do I need to jump? I need to jump two more in order to get to 10. But there aren't just two more puppies that are joining the eight. There are actually, remember, six puppies that join them at the park. So now here's the tricky thing. I've jumped two, I need to jump a total of six. So how many more do I need to jump? Well, I need to know that two plus four is the same thing as adding 
six. So all I've done is broken up that six into two smaller jumps. First I jumped two and then I jumped four more. That's the same thing as jumping all six at once. But here's the cool thing. Now I know in my head, because I know my quick tens, that 10 plus four would be 14. Now with those small numbers, are there easier ways to come up with that? Do you already know in your head that eight plus six is 14? Yes, but we're using these smaller numbers just to remind us how making a 10 strategy works. Okay, so I know that there are easier ways to do eight plus six, but I'm just using that as an example to show you this type of problem. So part B then says, how can you show jumps to add the rest of the ones? And we did that. We added four more. Add to your drawing to show your thinking. How can you write an equation for the problem? Well, we started at eight. Then we added two. Then we added four more. Now, if you wrote eight plus six equals 14, that is also completely correct. But I wanted to have both of my jumps on there because I remember that eight plus two plus four is the same as eight plus six. So there are now 14 puppies in the park. Step it out. Mr. Lind sells 57 fruit pops at the fair. Then he sells nine more. So I'm visualizing this and I know that it's an adding problem because he sells some and then he sells some more. And I wanna know how many fruit pops does Mr. Lind sell? So on my number line, I have 57 because 57 was the original number of fruit pops that he sold. So we're starting at 57 on the number line. First, jump up three. Now why jump up three? Jump up three in order to make a 10. So what is 57 plus three? It's not 10, but it's the next 10. 57 plus three would be 60. then add the rest of your number. Okay, so if we're adding nine more fruit pops, we've already added three. Adding three and then adding six more is the same as adding nine. Now what is 60 plus six more? That would be 66. How many fruit pops does Mr. Lin sell? Well, he started with 57. And then we broke it apart to be 57 plus 3, which is 60, plus 6 more, which equals the 66 fruit pops that he sold all together. Check for understanding. Make a 10 to solve, write the number. So let's try another one. There are 18 children at the park. They started our number line with 18. Seven more children join them. How many children are at the park now? Well, I know that 18 plus two more would get me to the next 10. It would get me to 20. And then I also know that if I hop two and I want to end up hopping seven, I can't stop there. I need to hop five more because two plus five is seven. So 18 plus two was 20. And if I take five more hops, it's 25. Now 
Now down here for the equation, boys and girls, I'll let you pick. If you would like to write 18 plus seven and write the total of 25, you can, or you can write 18 plus two plus five. Why am I accepting both answers? They're both correct. They're both equations. They're both equal to the same answer. So for your own, your own page, I know that you know how to do this now. They've given you some tips. They've helped you figure out how to break it down. You're going to do, there are nine children on the computer club. Six more children join the computer club. They're adding one in order to get from 19 up to 20 and breaking apart the six into one hop and five hops because one hop and then five more hops is the same thing as six hops. I know you can do it. Good luck. Have a great day.